Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop tutorial. On this one, we're in Photoshop 2022. It just released, and I'm going to show you how to use a neural filter and how to imitate, not necessarily copy, but how to imitate or how to match another photographer's style. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So here's a, sh a simple shot of a stock image of a girl with some wings sitting on a sitting on the side of a building. It is not a very good photo. The It's very, very dull, right? It's gray and dull and the skies just, there's no real life to it, but we can go ahead and make some. So here is an example of making some adjustments to it with one click. I've made these adjustments and I'm also going to show you how to use another photographer. Like if you have someone, a style that you're really, really interested, taking one of their pictures and applying it. So Let's just skip all that and let's get right into it. So I'm going to delete this top layer and bang, we've got a image, just like I said, right when we start. The next step, you want to go up to the filter and you want to select neural filters. Under neural filters, there's a few, there's a whole bunch of new ones, but the one that we're looking for is called color transfer. Now, color transfer has two big options. One is the presets. So let's just say, any of these images, maybe they're, they've got a style here that you kind of like. You maybe, let's go ahead with this one. Just to show you as an example, I'm going to left click on this little abstract painting. And you're going to see here that it goes to processing on device. And what it's doing is it's basically taking the colors from this and it's matching it to the image. Now this is Andy Warhol way over the top, obviously but it's just to show you a demonstration of the technique. Now, let's say this was close to what you were looking for, but it's too, it's just obviously too far over the top. That is not a big concern right now because what you wanna do is you wanna output this to a new layer. And when you do that, the new layer is gonna pop on top of it. But let me show you. Now, if you left it like this, obviously this is far, far, far over the top. But what happens when you go to the new layer that you created and you just, sort of start to dial up the opacity a little bit so we're adding in some of the look but not too much so there you go like let's say at 40 percent opacity so let's go 40 percent you know what you've got some of that cool darky pink dark red orangey look with the nice colors of the sky at the same time you know what you can go always go ahead and dial it back the same thing you can go ahead and start switching out the different blending modes as well. So, for example, in the multiply mode, it doesn't leave the uh, skin color quite as dark and, 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 I guess you'd say, saturated. So maybe this is the, the blend mode for you. Or, you know what, you can always look at them like linear burn. This looks really, really nice. Maybe we increase the opacity up to, whatever, 45%, and then we make some adjustments. So the point is, is that, this is the original shot. This is with the neural filter, the color uh, transfer. So let's go ahead and delete that. I'm going to show you a second way. And this way allows you to dial in a very specific image. So if you have an image or a photographer that you have in mind, here's how to get kind of close to them. We're going to go back up to neural filters. We're going to go filter, click on neural filters. And then this time, we're going to go back down and do the same thing but we're going to select a custom image as opposed to one of the presets. So let's just quickly let this load up, even though it isn't real, real quick. Come on. There we go. Color transfer. Left click. The button turns it on. And instead of the preset, we're now going into custom. Left click on custom. And now we're going to be asked for a reference image. I'm going to go ahead and select an image. Selecting an image from the computer. So I'm just going to go ahead and click that. And then under teaching, I've got an image that I want to use as a reference image. So this is the image that we're trying to imitate. I guess that's the best term. It's not really copying, it's imitating or I guess borrowing its look. So there we go. It's processing on device and presto, it's gone ahead and made some adjustments. I'm also going to go ahead and copy this out and make sure that it creates a new layer. I'm going to left click on OK and it's going to create a new layer, very similar to what we had before, but this is based on a very specific image. Now we have the option to go in and dial back the opacity so we get the look, right? So we're sort of in the middle here at let's say 60% opacity. 
This is the original. This has the look of the image that we selected. Also keep in mind, again, that we can sort of cycle through some of these different, that linear burn's a bit too dark, but we can cycle, that ah, darker color looks pretty good actually. You can cycle through them and sort of find the different uh, blending modes and dial in an image or a style that you want. But that is how you go ahead and use neural filters and color transfer to copy or imitate a particular photo or photographer, for example. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Be back soon.